Good morning ladies and gentlemen, this is PJ and I'm here to talk to you about my time at Cholton Park Academy. Well, before it was Cholton Park Academy as you may know, it's act it was actually Cholton School. And um, before that, it was actually two sites, Cholton School and Cholton School Royal Hill site. I started at the Royal Hill site and that was quite a good experience for me. It and my teacher was Graham, and um, we've had a we, we've had some great um, lessons. I've had some shaky lessons, you know. Yeah, but you know, if it weren't for Royal Hill, I wouldn't have met Graham. I wouldn't have met Roland or um, any other or Grant or Keith, you know. So it was amazing, you know. I really enjoyed I really enjoyed my time at Royal Hill. And then at Charlton, the experience was just stretched out. Only I've had different teachers over the course of the year. Like, um, there's Sue, um, Sean, Jan. In fact, the first teacher I had at the Charlton site was Jan. So, um, but then, um, you know, we had other teachers too. And, and I started my um, Key Stage 4 at Charlton School. And and that was when I got my GCSEs in art, fine arts, and I'm happy to say that I've got a B, and I've got a C in my art AS level, and I worked on them with Grant, yeah. So um, yeah, I've really enjoyed that. And um, Spanish, well, um, when I first started Spanish, I didn't think it was going to be useful because. Um, I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to go to Spain, am I? What am I going to use Spanish for? I'm more likely to be using French. But then, um, you know, I saw just how useful Spanish can be. Because I've met loads of people who spoke Spanish. I've met loads of... Um, and, and I sometimes learn a bit of French on the way. Not necessarily in a lesson, but um, other people have taught me French, yes. And... Um, Drama with Keith, God, that was amazing. In fact, that's what got me started in my career in storytelling, writing and performing. So yes, and I hope to plan to do much, much more of that in the future. Sorry about me, you know, I've got a bit of a... <laughs> so if I speak a bit gibberish, I do apologise. <laughs> so anyway, that got me started in my writing and illustrating career. You know, my art and my drama and my English, I've really enjoyed nearly almost every lesson really, you know, ICT, English, not overly keen on maths though, you know, it's not my strongest point, <laughs> but I'm working on it, I'm working on it, don't get me wrong. The work experience was really good as well, like I went to the Gate Theatre at Notting Hill to do a bit of stage design, um, I've done stuff at um, another school called Thorn Tree. And that was really good, you know, as PJ the Magical Clown. I've done stuff there as work experience. And, uh, hmm. and generally I've just had an amazing, an amazing, yeah, amazing few years at Charlton School. In fact, nine years, if you count the year I had at Charlton Park Academy. My hopes and ambitions for the future. Now that is a really tough one, that. Um... Well, I've joined Clowns International recently. Clowns International is uh, the like the biggest, the biggest clowning society in the UK, and that's pretty good. So, and I'm hoping to do a lot more with them. Uh, I've got, I've had a book out, you know, as you may have know, known, it's called Special Stories, and that was written with Keith, and I was the co-writer and illustrator. So I'm hoping to do a few more books, you know, maybe illustrate a lot of them as well. I'm hoping to join the some magic societies, say like the Magic Circle, Bexley Society of Magicians, or the Fellowship of Christian Magicians. You know, that's quite that looks quite cool to me. Um, let's see. I'm hoping to write a few more scripts and get my stuff on the West End. But the near future, well, one thing I do know that about it is that I'll be going to Lewisham College, 
and I'll be doing Pathway to Independence, a, a year of that, you know, at least a year of that, yeah. And I'm hoping to do, uh, I'm hoping to study Performing Arts, Art and Music, yeah. So that looks pretty darn good. And I'm hoping to get my business as an entertainer sorted out as well. Because that's like the big thing I'm into, you know. I love telling my jokes, I love doing magic and balloon modelling, you know. So I'm hoping to do a lot more with that, yeah. And um, I would like to start my own performance troupe. So like, it could either be circus, clowning, magic or... Um, Pantomime, definitely pantomime, because I love Christmas and I love panto. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So, yeah. And I'm hoping to do all that sort of thing in the future. My advice to all the new Year 7 students who are coming to Cholton Park Academy in 2013, you know, September 2013, would be to would be to enjoy every moment of it, you know. And if anything gets you down, always make sure you... And don't be afraid to tell a grown-up or a fellow student, you know, because they'll be very happy to help you. Lessons to look forward to. Well, um, when I started, there was science with Roland and uh, DT, and I really enjoyed both those things. ICT, ICT is a very good um, lesson. RE in Humanities, now um, they're very, quite interesting, you know. Get to learn about other beliefs, other cultures, yes. And then of course there's English, Maths, yeah. English and Maths, they're very important, you know. If you can learn to read and write, if you can learn to add and subtract and everything, you know. Then uh, you're on your way to the future, yes. And art and music, art and music are fantastic, so um, yeah, I think you'll really enjoy those. So basically, anything, anything that you have to do, anything, any lessons that you go to, try to enjoy every moment of it, you know. And I'm sure the teachers will help you with that. Yeah, they'll be, they'll always be um, there to help you. They'll always be here to guide you, and I'll always try and keep their their lessons as interesting as they can. So, um, so yes, always enjoy every moment in school, because after all, where where else do you learn? Now, I would like to end this um, section of the radio section of my um, speech by um, saying a big thank you to all the people who have made my year at Charlton School so wonderful. All the students, all the staff, all the teachers, all the tutors and all the um, caretakers and everyone. Thank you all very much and God bless you all. And I'm, and I'm always happy to, to say that Cholton School is one of the best schools in the world. I mean, Cholton Park Academy is <laughs> even, because that's what it's known as today. <laughs> Charlton Park Academy is one of the best places for any man or woman to learn. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much. This is PJ and, I, and this is for Charlton Park Academy. Thank you very much.